Hey guys, today we will learn how to build a recycler view which gets its data from a JSON API. For this example we will use this Pixabay API and display images for the search result for the keyword kitten. So as you can see we have these images of kittens here and we display the same images in our recycler view. Together with the name of the creator of the image, web Andy in this case, and the number of likes, which is 20. For this we will use a recycler view, the Wally -E library and the Picasso library. If you want to know how to build a more simple recycler view, I will put a link to my other recycler viewer playlist into the info card box in the top right corner of this video. There we build a recycler view without passing JSON data or loading images. And I will also put links there to my Picasso and Wally -E videos, but we will also build everything from scratch in this course, so you don't have to watch these videos. And in the description box of each video in this course, you will also find a link to the source code. So Pixabay provides an easy way to request the search results as a JSON. And the JSON for our kitten search looks like this. So as we see from this curly brace, we have a JSON object. And this JSON object contains a JSON array, as we can see from this square bracket, with the key hits. And this JSON array contains 20 search results for kittens in form of JSON objects. And these JSON objects have a lot of different key value pairs. And for our project we will read three of these key value pairs. We will use likes, which is a number. We will use web format URL, which contains the URL for the image in string form. And we will use user, which is the creator name in string form as well. So we have these JSON objects in a JSON array called hits in one big JSON object. And this is how we will parse it. For this we start with a fresh new Android Studio project and first we have to give our project a name. And I will call this Recycler Viewer JSON Example. Here we can define a package name and the project location. When that's done we click next. I will keep the min API level 19 so we reach 90.1% of devices which is plenty. Next we choose empty activity Next, and we keep the activity name as main activity and click finish. So in our new project, the first thing we do is we go into the Gradle scripts folder. We open this build.gradle file with module colon app in its name. And here at the bottom, we have to add four dependencies. I will put links to all four dependencies into the description box as well, so you can just copy them from there. So we have the volley dependency, Picasso, Recycler view and card view. When that's done, we click Sync Now. And next we go into our manifest file, which you can find here. And at the top here we add opening angle bracket, uses permission, and we need android.permission.internet. And we close this. And now we have all the preparations for our new project. So let's now go into our activity main.xml file and prepare our main activity layout. We will delete this text view here and change the constraint layout into a relative layout. And then we add our recycler view, this one here, support.v7.widget.recyclerView. And we will give it width and height of match parent, so it fills the whole screen. And then we can change this into a self-closing tag, because we don't have to put anything in between. Our recycler view needs an idea, which will simply be recycler underscore view. And let's give this recycler view a background with android colon background and we set it to add android and here we search for color slash darker gray. So we can see the white cards on it better. That's it for our main activity layout. In the next video we will create a class which will contain the single items of our recycler view. So don't forget to subscribe. Take care.